Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just uh, finished building this and you'll be asking me maybe what's all this here. If you want to see what that is, stay to the end of this video. I will show you what I was filming here and uh, let's get rid of all this stuff and this is what I made. That's what I made. So if you want to see how I made this beautiful mallet, then uh, watch this video with me. And it was very cool what I filmed here. So if you don't want to watch this video, just skip to the end and then watch at least that part. I think it was good. So let's, let's see this thing being made. Yeah, I had been wanting to make a mallet for quite a while already. Ever since I saw Black Teal Studio make one, and I wanted to try it. I've never seen another video from a mallet that's that beautiful as his was, so I figured I would try to make one that was uh, pretty nice too. So I uh, finally thought it was time to just get into it and uh, see if I could create one. So yeah, I, at first I started with some cherry wood, cut some strips out of that. And then this last wood, I'm not sure what it is. Just had some of that laying around. I had some from, I wanted to make a guitar. I still want to make a guitar, but it won't happen right now. So I used some of that wood to get some of the colors into it. And it may be a uh, walnut something like that I'm not sure kind of smells like chocolate so I just like that wood I like the color and later I tie in some uh, orange heart I think they call it and some purple purple heart I, I think it's purple heart I'm not even sure but uh, yeah so I have my strips there and uh, I just need to Glue them up so that they have uh, one white one, one brown one, so that you get the, the stripes in it. And uh, what would be very nice if you guys would watch Black Tail Studios' video on his uh, mallet making, and then tell me which one is nicer. I will put a link of his uh, video in the description. And then you could go watch it, I mean, I'm not expecting you to because most of the times when I watch a YouTube video and someone tells me to go and watch someone's video and then come back and, and tell them how I like them, I mean, I usually don't because it's like going there and coming back and, and it's a lot of work, but if you would, I mean, I would really appreciate that. But yeah, I... I think it turned out pretty nice, so I would appreciate if you guys would let me know, maybe write me a comment and tell me what you think of this build. And plus what I would really like, if you guys would tell me what you would like me to make. Uh, someone would um, type in comments like what I should make next, I mean. I'd be down for that. I'd be down to try something new, maybe, maybe find something complicated, something on uh, Google that looks like impossible to make, and then I might just try to make it. Yeah, I was telling my wife that she should find me a woodworking project that looked impossible to make, and then I would see if I could create that. So that might come up here in the future. Yeah, I have some uh, very nice projects coming up here whenever I have time because I have some other things to make too. But I want to make my wife a nice uh, Christmas gift and that video will come out probably just before Christmas or something like that. And yeah, I can 
like I'll make it here shortly, but I can't uh, have the video on YouTube for long because then maybe she would see it before she would get it. And it'd be a surprise. So I think that would be a very nice thing that I'm making. Yeah, if you like what I do, I mean, you could hit that like button or subscribe if you you want to see more videos that I uh, will post in the future. And there goes a lot of work into making a video. I put hours into making a video because every angle that you see me record, I have to put up my camera and make sure it has me in the footage. I mean, half of the time I know I'm way out like first i set my piece there and looked at yeah we'll record nice that and then when i grab the piece i turn the other way and i stand somewhere else and then you can probably almost not even see me all the time so i'm trying to cut it in here and there but there's places where uh i just had to trim out so yeah and sometimes just forget to even turn the camera on and you have to redo it if it was something that you really wanted in the video like this video is uh, almost 15 minutes long and I have to like watch it over like I'm not sure maybe 10 times to get all the uh, details in and uh, if you imagine that that's at least a few hours of just editing it's probably longer than a few hours I did about two hours yesterday and now here again in an hour and all the filming so it's about I don't know uh, about five hours at least into one video and yeah so I hope you guys like it I mean I, I don't want to make something that people are uh, not wanting to watch I mean no one has to watch so I guess if you're watching to this point then I appreciate I just really appreciate that and yeah so that will be the mallet head just gluing that up and I'm doing some uh, I don't know why you call it inlay or an infill I can put in that I wanted to do the whole bronze carpenter shop logo but the whole uh, bronze carpenter shop name was too much. Like the letters were too small for me to chisel them out. So I ended up to do, um, as you can see right here, just do crons and then that uh, saw blade. And I think it turned out pretty nice. I mean, it was my first uh, carving ever. First, I did it with a chisel, and I used that little tool that you get with a cricket machine to to peel the pieces out that I chiseled loose and like that and I filled it in with some uh, sparkle and then I just uh, gorilla glued it over and let it dry overnight and that was a lot of sanding that stuff I didn't know that that was that hard to sand down so it took me probably half an hour to just sand that gorilla glue down that's well, good that you guys don't have to watch all that sanding because sanding is never fun so now that that's dry up it's time to chisel that uh, glue away and then glue more to it so yeah that piece will be the handle Later when I'm done sanding that, it, it looks way better. So it's always nice to, to do the final sanding. Like I first do the sanding with uh, 220 grit and then 320, and then I do a thousand and then a thousand five hundred, two thousand and three thousand grit. The last when, once you're over a thousand, it's just fun to sand that because then it just starts to shine and and look beautiful so yeah so here I'm just gluing the veneers on just to get the outside brown I want it to be like a 
more like brown on the outside, white on the inside with all the stripes. So. Yeah, sometimes I need more clamps. I need a lot more clamps. So getting to make the handle, just have to trim away so the handle fits into the mallet head. Yeah, if you guys ever want to see more behind the scenes, you could uh, look on my Instagram. It's Kron's Carpenter Shop, just like this channel. And I post quite a bit there too. And yeah, so I don't have a Patreon page like some do, and then they post stuff there. But then I just do it on Instagram. And so yeah. Yeah, I think that handle turned out pretty nice. Uh, my wife thinks it's a bit thick, but uh, I told her just to look at her hands. Her hands are way smaller than mine. Like I have, I've only a few times ever seen someone with bigger hands in mine. Mine are probably about 10 inches. If I spread them out, probably at least 10 inches. So if I grip a handle from a normal hammer, it's usually a bit thin on, in my hand, so I made it a bit thicker. And I like it. I think it's nice. I mean, yeah. Working with wood is just fun. You can just basically sign anything you want. And my head always spins with ideas. And working on one thing and it thinks about making something different and wants to make something else again and I just always have so many ideas I wish I just didn't have a full-time job and I could just do this full-time just work with wood and make stuff but have to um, pay bills so and you have to get a full-time job and plus lumber is so expensive you need a lot of money to just buy some lumber especially if you want a hardwood like this yeah, and I think a mallet like this will be nice for, for the carpenter shop um, to make. Well, if you use a chisel and stuff like that, then you can use that. But I don't know if I want to use it in the carpenter shop now because it looks so beautiful. So I'm just thinking of having it somewhere on the shelf to look nice. But yeah, I don't know what you think. Should I should I use it or should I just go over it maybe? have it as an art piece or something like that but yeah here just round over the edge and make it a little softer edge I like that square pattern it has on that it looks pretty nice well I guess we get sandy it's time for that, so... Oh yeah, I did it. Quite a few... I don't know, I think about two hours of sanding went into to that mallet. For sure over one. That was a lot of sanding. And here I'm just um, tightening up the handle. There's parts that I've forgotten to film, like that uh, bronze pipe that I put into the handle. I forgot to film that part, but I think it looks really nice and it, it matches with their logo. Yeah, so this shine is just from Santa, it still doesn't have a finish. After I apply the finish, it looks way nicer. I put in food safe uh, wax paste on there and that makes it look much nicer. So, oh, so here comes the the nice part, watch this next part here. Does it all by itself, it's an automatic hammer. Yeah, so thank you for watching and I appreciate this and uh, hopefully uh, see you in the next video.